All right. Finishing out the John E. Uh, okay. Try that again. Making sure it's not switch swapped. All right. <clears throat> Finishing off the John Wick movies now. For now, because according to Wikipedia and how this movie ends, there's going to be another one. So John Wick Chapter Three Parabellum uh, sees John Wick now a. Once again, put back Keanu Reeves, now a fugitive. Excommunicado. Uh, after the events of the second film. And now everyone's trying to hunt him down. Get him. He looks to old friends for help. And some gnarly ass dogs as well. Something about this series and dogs, I tell you. First thing I want to talk about is a continuity error. At the end of the last one, they sent out the message of the excommunicado. People's phones were lighting up. It was known he was excommunicado. But, this one, they send it out. And say there's, you know, a certain amount of minutes before it activates. But they already activated the end of the second one. So why are they re why are they activating it again at the beginning of this one? I don't get it. Cause it, you know, takes place right after the second one. He's in the rain with the dog. Same thing. One thing I forgot to talk about in the last review was Lawrence Fishburne as the King of the Bowery. He returns on this one, let me tell you. One of my favorite lines from the second one is one that he says, Get this man a gun. Forgot to say that in the last one. I'm stupid. This one, he's back. Um, he gets presumably killed until he shows up at the end. Um, Mark DeCascos is in this. Keanu Reeves and Mark DeCascos had this big fight towards the end. It's like the cl climactic battle. They fight in this glass room. All this glass is broken and everything and yeah, guns and shooting. And Holly Berry, he goes to an old, like I said, he goes to an old friend. It's Holly Berry. She has these two dogs. And they're on a roof talking to this one guy, right? And this guy wants one of her dogs for his services. She says no. So he shoots the dog. Dog's wearing a bulletproof vest. And she sicks the dog. And the dog bites off his nuts. Serious. Jumps by right in the nuts. Big old blood spat right there. God damn. And the battle, it's, it's, you know, it's Keanu Reeves or John Wick and Holly Berry fighting these guys with the dogs jumping in to the scene and just dem demolishing, almost, you know, sla yeah, slaughtering these assassins one by one. Uh, John goes to Holly Berry's character, I forgot her name. She's another one of the owners of a Continental Hotel in somewhere um but apparently uh much like the last film you know we he owed some somebody was she owed something to him once she paid it though she lets him go what confuses me i don't know there's this woman who's part of the high tower, whatever it was called. This, you know. And she is trying to get John. She says she sends out the excommunicado to kill John Wick after he killed that guy in the in the hotel. And it's, the other, it's not a cut in the air, but it's like, they still have his body on the ground. Apparently there's like a morgue in the, in the basement, so. <clears throat> there's that. But again, it's the sounds, it's the visuals you get from this movie. The rain. Once again, you can see it on the 
Well, I forgot to do an intro, but you can see the rain on the Blu-ray cover there. And it's the, the music, once again, top-notch. You got the visuals, the rain, the... During the battle with Mark DeCascos in the glass room, there's this ever-changing light in the background. It's really cool. You know? The action scenes, I think, go a little bit better in this one than in the past two. Because there is not only gunfights, there are also hand-to-hand -hand combat fights. And, like, busting through glass. And the dogs, like I said. <clears throat> Guys, this... I am really... Upset. I think it'll go see this in the theater because, you know, I, I hadn't seen the first two yet, so I've seen the first one. I haven't seen the second one yet, and I watched the second one after it came out, and I still didn't go see it. Whenever the fourth one comes out, I'm gonna go see it because these films deserve to be seen on a big screen in a movie theater. Let me tell you, and I haven't yet seen them yet. So, the big finale, we have it after the Casco's fight, the, uh, the ball check here, her, she calls a parlay with Winston, uh, well, well, at one point she, I don't know what she calls it, but she, like, deactivates his hotel, well, then he calls a parlay after John Wick kills all the people she sends after him, when they deactivate it, it means that blood can be shed on the grounds. So they had a big old fight. And then afterwards. She makes a deal with Winston. She reactivates the hotel. And then Winston shoots John Wick. Off the building. He falls. And I've been sitting there. And I'm like. You know. I believe that he's actually dead. If I didn't already know. A fourth film was on the way. Because I looked on Wikipedia. To look up information. I shouldn't have done that. But I need all the information I'm going to get. You know what I mean. So yeah, the movie, uh, you know, they go, she goes to collect the body, he's not there, and it turns out the King of Bowery is still alive, Most Fishburne is still alive, and bring John Wick to his little hiding place, and the dog too. So they're setting up for a fourth film. Every one of these films I had a sort of a clean, sort of a cliffhanger, even though the second one didn't really, the only thing really left was that he didn't get his car back. So if they made a sequel, then they could, he could get his car back. But if they didn't, then, you know, you could assume he got it back. But yeah, guys, John Wick Chapter 3 is on par with the original. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 9. What are your thoughts on John Wick Chapter 3? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, love, peace, and chicken grease.